we're sounding the alarm on false alarms. City leaders in Lorraine are cracking down on something that they say has bogged police departments down for years. False alarms from security systems in homes and businesses. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live tonight from the Lorraine Police Department. And Jordan, how much are these false alarms costing the taxpayers? Well, estimates by Lorraine PD put those costs at $40,000 a year. That is no small chunk of change. And officials say the goal is to get people to fix the problem before they are actually problems. You can see them on a front lawn or in a store window. Home and commercial security is a billion dollar business. But let us not forget it's police departments with limited budgets who respond. Every time we respond to alarm, that's a car putting on lights and sirens, driving through traffic. There's always a risk the officer getting hit, you know, or something else happening to respond to alarm where someone just forgot to set it or left a window open. Police say records show that happens an overwhelming majority of the time. Lorraine PD receives about 2,400 alarm calls per year. 80% of those are false. That's roughly five per day. Lieutenant Michael Failing says you know, most of those are preventable. User error. A lot of it's user error. With policy requiring two officers to respond to alarm calls and it taking 17 minutes on average to respond and clear the scene, false alarms drain the department of an average of 1,100 man hours a year, totaling more than $40,000. Not only does it prevent them from doing proactive stuff, it also prevents the citizen who's sitting at home waiting for a police officer to come take their theft report. Well, that alarm is taking priority, so now that's another half hour that citizen's waiting. That's where a newly passed ordinance comes in. The second false alarm call in a calendar year requires an inspection. The third, and that's a $35 fine per false alarm. And the fifth earns a $75 fine per false alarm. This whole new ordinance is built to try to help them correct the problem. Um, so, yes, there are fines if you go over a certain number, but prior to that, you know, there's, you know, several places and in, built into the you know, ordinance where, you know, why is this alarm going off? Can we help you correct this? The new ordinance also requires alarm dealers and alarm companies to register with the city, and they're also required to compile a list of all the properties that they service and provide that list to the city. Reporting live in Lorraine, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.